Hello. Um, it's my 2023 Polaris Ranger. It's a seven, uh, sorry, 570 uh, premium. Uh, you can see I have the, the tracks on it as well. Uh, I had to get the premium because it needs power steering in order to run the tracks. Um, it all sounds great, um, but I've been, I've been having trouble, lots of trouble with this. Uh, it's basically only a year old now. I bought it uh, last year, and uh, I keep having issues with the, uh, the speed sensor, I think is what they, they keep telling me it is. Um, and the problem is, is that I'm basically 10 kilometers away from the, uh, the road where I, my car is. Um, there's no cell service. It's very remote back here. Um, and when this machine is not, uh, you know, behaving, um, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to trust it. Um, I got to come out here and if this thing can't get me back to the car, uh, then I'm basically hiking. So it's like three hours, uh, to hike back. Um, so not ideal. And I bought it specifically for that purpose. I bought new, so I wouldn't have trouble. Um, hindsight's 2020, I guess I should have gone maybe with a, an older model or I don't know, something something different, but it's been nothing but a struggle so, so far with the speed sensor. Uh, what happens is I, I can get up here maybe uh, twice, and on the third time, uh, you know, either on the way in or the way back, usually it's on the way in, uh, It's the speed sensor uh, triggers the check engine light and the ABS light, um, and then I'm basically stuck in, uh, in limp mode at that point, which at least, you know, I can keep moving, so uh, I get get to where I need to go but it makes me very nervous and so I don't end up enjoying the, the time I, I spend all the you know three hours basically trying to get out here to, to spend uh, either the day or maybe the night um, and I, uh, I can't I can't really enjoy myself because I'm nervous about getting back to the car now with it uh, not behaving properly so um, I'm gonna head back now it's early I just got here about, uh, about an hour ago um, but uh, again, like I said, I don't, uh, if I have to hike, I, I don't want to be doing it at night. I'm uh, not really dressed for, for hiking back in this weather. So um, anyway, hopefully the, uh, the limp mode gets me back or the sensor, you know, starts behaving. But uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. engine light and the ABS light are on. I'm really not sure what's going on. It seems to happen when it's in low, but I was driving it in low uh, all the time in the, when I first got it, because you're, you're supposed to do that to break it in properly, or so they say. Um, and on the way out, this time now that it's, it's been broken in, um, and you can see this thing is like, it's like brand new. How many, how many hours do I have on it? to work a little bit and, and my main purpose is to get to and from my uh, my land which is uh, you know 10 kilometers off the road on off a skidoo trail and very remote it's actually a road in the summer unmaintained uh, so they turn it into a skidoo trail in the uh, in the winter so I had no choice I had to basically get something like this to get up here or or a, um, a skidoo but uh, I opted to, to get this with the full cab and you know, a little bit of heat as well, uh, and that gave me the uh, gave me everything I need. So, anyway, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to get back to the car now. Okay, so I haven't gone very far. Still not even out of my my driveway yet. Maybe three seconds up the road here. Um, but look, the lights off. So I don't know what the heck's going on with this thing, but she doesn't like to just behave herself. So I'm gonna uh, maybe pack down the snow a little bit here before I head back and we'll see if the light comes back on. We made it back to the car. 
um, no further issues as of yet, so I have to take it home, maybe drive it around the block in low gear, stay in high gear the whole way back, and so it, no problem, so it's a good scene. Okay, so hello again. Um, this is about uh, two weeks later um, from the last uh, last update. Um, so I took the side by side in to the shop that Thursday. So that was a week and a half ago. Um, they checked it out. It was indeed the speed sensor again. Um, they kept it over the the course of the weekend and and the la rest of this last week. Um, and worked on it. They said they found the problem. Um, there was some ground uh, not you know, ground, grounding properly and so they fixed that and they said they were kind of able to uh, reproduce it um, beforehand and then they weren't able to after and so they were very confident that they uh, they got the, the problem fixed. Um, and now I'm this is I picked it back up again on Thursday, Saturday now. Um, back up at the land. I, I made it uh, but uh, about three kilometers in, um, same thing happened. Light, uh, light came on, uh, check engine light and the ESP light, um, and uh, basically the speed sensor again. So I, I could see that there was no um, uh, no speed being monitored. So I was in limp mode. Um, this was about three, four kilometers in. I did decide to continue the trip in on limp mode, um, and then I'll deal with it tomorrow. I didn't want it to to ruin my entire trip this time. Um, super annoyed. So I guess I'll I'll call the shop back again on on Monday and give you an update after that. But uh, yeah, this is this is really annoying. This machine's still brand new and um, I can't get the speed sensor issue to to resolve, or they can't get the speed sensor issue to resolve. So anyway, um, I'll uh, I'll just keep it going and see. Uh, See what the final resolution is, I guess. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, uh, it's Sunday now. I'm going to head back to the car and uh, hopefully make it. I think I'll be in uh, limp mode the whole time since uh, the speed sensor's gone. Uh, but let's start it up and make sure the light's still on.
sort of test the side-by-side -side fully over the last uh, year that I've owned it. Um, and my one-year warranty is essentially up. Uh, and they were, uh, they were very understanding and they actually gave me an extended warranty. So I've now got coverage for another uh, about, about three years, I think now, which is way more than I would have expected uh, of them. But uh, it's really nice that they did that. So I'm, I'm happy as of right now and uh, about to give it the, uh, the first test. So fingers crossed, everything goes well and uh, I'll keep you posted. Bye for now. Okay, I'm all loaded up. Uh, gonna head up. So far, so good. Wish me luck. All right, I made it up. Um, no little issues. Uh, aside from an angry snowmobiler, because uh, it's a snowmobile trail that uh, you didn't seem to want me riding on. But anyway, kind of laugh about that. Um, okay, so I'm here though, and uh, I'm just gonna unload my stuff and. Uh, I don't know, I don't really have a plan for today. I'm just going to kind of take it easy, maybe maybe go for a little hike or something, and uh, just kind of chill, take in, the, take in the day. So, talk to you later. So, I'm going to uh, gonna try to pack down the snow a little bit with the uh, with the tracks here, just to see if I can make uh, make the trail a little better to walk on and, and drive over later. So, let's go.
All right, it's time to uh, time to head home. Got myself all loaded up in the back, and uh, yeah, I'm off to uh, see if I can get back to the car without any issues. Wish me luck.